The anticipation surrounding Sony's next-generation compact cinema camera, widely referred to as the Sony FX32, has reached unprecedented levels within the professional filmmaking and content creation community. Unlike the original FX3, which earned acclaim for its portability, low-light capabilities, and cinematic workflow, the evolving demands of the market have highlighted several limitations of the current model. Competitors such as Panasonic, Blackmagic, and Fujifilm have introduced advanced features including internal RAW recording, open gate capture, and higher resolution options. Raising the bar for what professionals expect from a high-performance compact cinema camera. These developments have put pressure on Sony to deliver a truly next-generation solution. For filmmakers and content creators who require both creative flexibility and professional-grade performance, the constraints of the FX3, especially in post-production latitude and advanced video formats, have become increasingly noticeable, paving the way for a successor that can bridge the gap between convenience and uncompromised professional quality. Industry insiders suggest that Sony is actively addressing these gaps with the Sony FX3 II, which is expected to launch in late 2025. Regulatory filings in Japan provide early confirmation of the camera's development, revealing specifications and power requirements consistent with a serious professional video device rather than a consumer-focused mirrorless camera like the Alpha 7 or RX series. Analysts view the FX3 II as the logical progression in Sony's cinema line, reflecting both a response to competitive pressures and a commitment to meeting the evolving needs of filmmakers. Unlike incremental updates, the FX3 II appears poised to redefine expectations for compact cinema cameras, blending portability, performance, and professional-grade functionality. At the core of excitement surrounding the Sony FX3 II are two rumored features that address long-standing user requests, open gate recording, and internal 12-bit RAW capture. Open gate capture utilizes the full height of the sensor, allowing filmmakers to frame shots with maximum flexibility for multiple formats. This includes horizontal content for platforms like YouTube, vertical formats for social media, or square crops for advertisements, all without resorting to digital cropping or compromising image quality. By incorporating open gate recording, the FX32 could dramatically streamline workflows enabling filmmakers to produce content in a format-agnostic manner, a critical advantage in today's multi-platform media environment. Equally significant is the expected inclusion of internal 12-bit RAW recording. With the FX3, capturing high-quality RAW footage has traditionally required external recorders connected via HDMI or SDI, adding bulk and complexity to the setup. By bringing 12-bit RAW capture internally, the FX32 allows full sensor data to be recorded directly in camera, offering unprecedented post-production latitude. Editors would gain far greater control over color grading, shadow and highlight recovery, and exposure adjustments. The shift from conventional 8-bit or 10-bit codecs to 12-bit AW promises smoother tonal transitions and enhanced dynamic range, enabling filmmakers to capture subtle lighting nuances with far greater precision. This upgrade alone positions the FX3 II as a professional-grade tool capable of competing with larger, more cumbersome cinema cameras, while retaining the compact form factor that makes Sony's FX series so appealing. Beyond these headline features, the FX3 II is expected to deliver a suite of additional enhancements to ensure it remains competitive. Resolution is a key focus, with rumors suggesting that the FX3 II could support 6K recording, with some leaks even hinting at 8K capabilities. Higher resolution not only allows for exceptional detail, but also enables reframing and cropping in post-production without degrading image quality, giving filmmakers enhanced creative freedom. Such capabilities future-proof content for emerging display technologies and make the FX32 highly versatile for productions requiring ultra-high definition imagery. However, higher resolution comes with challenges. Increased data rates demand more processing power, faster memory throughput, and improved thermal management. Sony will need to carefully balance these factors with low light performance and dynamic range, areas where the FX3 already excelled, to ensure the FX3 II is both practical and high-performing under demanding conditions. Early reports suggest that Sony is exploring advanced sensor technologies and enhanced heat dissipation systems to address these concerns, allowing the camera to manage high-resolution recording without sacrificing performance. Autofocus performance is another area where the FX3 II is expected to excel. 
Sony's industry-leading autofocus systems have set benchmarks in mirrorless cameras, and the FX3 the 2nd of May incorporate AI-driven subject recognition and tracking capabilities similar to those found in the Alpha 1 and the rumored 7R6. These systems would allow precise tracking of moving subjects, including humans, animals, vehicles, and even smaller, fast-moving objects, ensuring reliable autofocus in high-pressure shooting environments. For solo filmmakers, documentary shooters, or fast-paced production settings, this could mean the difference between a missed shot and consistently sharp results. By improving autofocus speed and accuracy, the FX32 would significantly enhance efficiency and reliability, reinforcing its position as a professional-grade cinema tool. Speculation also suggests that Sony may integrate a global shutter into the FX32. A global shutter eliminates rolling shutter artifacts that can distort fast-moving subjects or skew straight lines in architectural shots a common challenge in many high-resolution cameras. If implemented effectively, this could represent a groundbreaking feature in a compact cinema camera. However, global shutter technology often requires trade-offs in dynamic range or low light sensitivity, and Sony will need to carefully optimize its implementation to maintain the FX32's versatility and performance. Ergonomics and build quality remain essential for professional use, and the FX32 is expected to see refinements in these areas. Sony is likely to retain the compact form factor that made the FX3 popular while enhancing usability for extended shooting sessions. Potential improvements include refined weather sealing, restructured button layouts, and fanless cooling solutions to reduce operational noise during sensitive audio capture. The FX3 the 2nd of May also feature expanded mounting options for rigs, gimbals, and custom setups, ensuring that it remains adaptable for diverse production scenarios from handheld documentary work to complex studio environments. Additional monitoring tools, such as in-camera false color for exposure assessment, are also anticipated. This feature, absent in the FX3, would streamline workflows on set by reducing reliance on external monitors and allowing precise exposure evaluation directly through the camera. Battery life and power management are also expected to see improvements. Handling higher resolution footage and advanced features such as 12-bit RAW and open gate recording is power intensive, and Sony may introduce more efficient battery solutions or smarter power saving modes. USB-C power delivery could allow continuous shooting and fast charging, further increasing the camera's versatility for demanding production schedules. Together with heat management enhancements, these refinements ensure that the FX32 can handle prolonged shoots without compromising reliability or performance. In summary, the Sony FX32 is shaping up to be a game-changing addition to Sony's cinema lineup. With open gate recording, internal 12-bit RAW capture, improved autofocus, advanced heat management, high-resolution recording, and refined ergonomics, it addresses both the creative and logistical challenges faced by contemporary filmmakers. By combining these features into a compact, professional-grade package, the FX32 has the potential to set a new standard for what high-performance, portable cinema cameras can achieve. Its anticipated release in late 2025 is already generating excitement among creators eager to see whether Sony can deliver on these ambitious promises and redefine the compact cinema camera market for the modern era.